Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 20th. So, this is for around the 20th. What do we got for around the 20th? Remember, the timing is fluid. Oh, two of them. Oh, the Hierophant. So this is faith and trust. Confession. Uh, Page of Swords reversed, being caught off guard. We may have somebody that is caught off guard. Uh, unsure of what they hear. There's some sort of difficulty in communication here with the Page of Swords reversed. But there is going to be some communication, but maybe... I don't know. Conflicting. There's conflicting thoughts over the conversation, perhaps. Anyway, the Hierophant. The Hierophant is a higher power. Taurus. Um, doesn't have to be a Taurus, but it represents a spiritual teacher of some sort. Somebody um, that is divinely guided, has a direct uh, connection with God or a higher power. Um, this is Believe. Believe, uh, have faith and trust. Um, there's, there's somebody is being guided. They are being guided to follow their gut. So we're talking about the twentieth. I don't know. You think about I don't know what this is. You think about the church or whatever because I don't know if there's going to be some sort of confession or something. Page and it doesn't have to be a confession, but that's what keeps coming out of my mouth. Page of Swords reverse, being caught off guard, uh, no words, tongue tied. Um, mm -hmm. Somebody may be getting a message that really, you know, they didn't expect. They didn't expect this message. Um, Yikes. Page of Wands reversed. Now this is bad news. Both of these together especially. There is some sort of bad news coming. Um, hmm. Well, I don't know about this. Page of Wands. Now the Page of Wands reverse is a person that is immature and so isn't the Page of Swords. In re both. We have somebody here that is immature. They may see themselves as a victim. This is someone who doesn't have anything good to say that is very pessimistic. feels like there could be some unwelcome news that is coming. It's not what you wanted to hear. Oh, God. Page of Wands next to the Page of Swords reverse. That's unwelcome news. Um, about a commitment, about a marriage, perhaps. Or, I don't know, that can signify a marriage, a funeral, um... Commitment. Let's see. Need to take a break. Somebody needs to take a break. They may want a break. They may need to, to think about something. They may need time to think, to reflect. Now the Four of Swords. This is the death of a person or idea. It is. This is uh, withdrawing, withdrawal. We may have somebody that doesn't really want to communicate, you know, or they're lacking the ability to communicate. They may not be in the right mindset. Negative. Procrastinator. Hmm. Ooh, King of Wands reverse. Oh, yay. So, boy, we have, uh, I don't know, King of Wands reverse. It's, this is, I'm not sure if somebody is angry or upset or, I mean, we could even have somebody here that is uh, very negative. This is a negative individual who had lax confidence, likes to be in control, very controlling energy with the King of Wands reverse, doesn't. Isn't interested in doing the right thing. Um, unreasonable. So we could have somebody here that is unreasonable. Forceful. Uh, controlling. Uh, not very excited. Not very talkative. Somebody's not really talking. Or they're not wanting to talk. Or 
Oh, okay. That's funny. Um, King of Wands reversed. Uh, now that's egotistical. I mean, I can't, it is what it is, right? King of Wands reversed is somebody that lacks any ability to look at things from another perspective or to change their mind. This person is unreasonable. So there's somebody here that is, is not willing to give, not willing to take any action. Maybe feeling kind of lazy, you know? There's some sort of laziness here. I don't want to do it. I just don't want to do it or something like that. Um, lack of ambition, lack of desire, lack of drive, which stems from lack of confidence. Um, <laughs> you may have somebody that is very conceited. There's like conceitedness here. Magician. Magician. So this is somebody that is very powerful. Somebody has all the power in their hands right now. The power, the ball is in their court. Okay. This is somebody that has the power. They have the power to get whatever they want. So this is somebody that is in a position of power that has an opportunity to uh, get whatever they want. Um, but there could be negative thinking because this is negative thinking. So there could be some self-doubt here. Somebody may be doubting their abilities to get what they want. They may be a doubting. They may be doubting the power that is in their hands. Now this is a card of yes, and this is a card of manifestation. Somebody has manifested something, a new opportunity, but it will require shedding the old to bring in the new because that is the meaning of the magician card. But this is as above, so below. So somebody has asked for something. They have. They've asked God or a higher power for something. And it's like the higher power has said, okay, here it is. This is what you this is what you want. This is what you always wanted. Here it is. This is this is a gift, right? Now you gotta do something about it. We have somebody here that is, is really not taking action, but the power is in their hands. They have the power, they have the ability. They have everything they need. They just got to do it. This is a do card. Do it. This, whoever this person is right here, they may be having a hard time communicating or having a hard time uh, taking action because of, I think it's self-esteem or self-confidence or vulnerability. Somebody may be feeling vulnerable. And this is empty inside, you know. Six of Wands, victory. does end in victory, but you have to fight for it. Six of Wands about fighting. It is. It's after a fight. After a fight. After, after a battle, there's an opportunity for victory. Success. This is another yes card. So we have a couple yes. Yes. Yes, you will be successful. But you, this is an action card. So the fighting is over because because before the Six of Wands, the Five of Wands. So that's the fight. That's the battle. The fighting is over. Now there's an opportunity for success. This is the victory flag. It really is. So we do have somebody that has made a lot of progress. There's no fighting. There's no reason to fight. There's no reason to fight. There may have been a break. Okay, because this is break. Somebody may have taken a break from a commitment or I don't know something um, but now there's an opportunity definitely for success but we have an individual that uh, doesn't have the confidence or maybe very fearful maybe very very fearful this is lack of, of strength and courage and, and bravery somebody needs to find that they need to be brave they yeah you know you've, you've already fought the fighting is over there's no no fight left um, anyhow, uh, somebody is going to be receiving some sort of information that, or they have, they may have received the information already, you know, that makes them feel conflicted. Um, but there's, these are both success that ends in success. This is yes. Okay. And the six of wands is a card of, 
you know, a win. This is a win. Winning, winning, winning a battle. This is a win-win. It's a win-win situation. After being isolated or after being alone or whatever. <laughs> this is the end of a battle. It's the end of a conflict. It is. And there is an opportunity for success. But willpower is going to be needed. The magician has a golden opportunity, but will have to take charge to create what they want. So will this person take charge? Six of swords. Now that is getting to a better place. Traveling, going. So yes, this is moving. It's moving, doing it. Somebody is going to do it. They are going to, because the sixes are the journey to balance and harmony. Somebody is going to be taking a ride or traveling or going someplace. Wherever they're going, it does lead to harmony because sixes are about harmony. It leads to balance. It leads to victory. It leads to happiness. But they have to find their strength and all the resources within them to just do it. And that includes having faith and trust in the higher power that, you know, everything happens for a reason. So somebody is going to a better place. They definitely are with that six of cords. So cords, cords, okay, swords. Somebody, it's Mercury retrograde and my energy is, is crazy and it's, I'm having a hard time talking. And there could be some difficulty communicating here. Um, but anyhow, a six of swords, that is, that is moving to a better place, that's going to a better place, uh, tr it's, it's getting to a better place, it's leaving the trouble behind, leaving the battle behind. Um, yeah, so we do have somebody here that is getting their life back on track. They're making a choice to do so. There's reevaluation here as well. I think somebody has is reevaluating. They're reevaluating their path. They're reevaluating their future, and they're feeling very conflicted, very conflicted about you know what the next move is. Um, now, the magician is a very powerful individual. Um, This is somebody who does, does do it, does it, you know, they take action. So, so somebody is going to take action, you're going to take action in regards to uh, going somewhere, okay, they are going to go someplace because that is going somewhere. Oh, another six, 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 right, lined up to, I love it, six, six, six is about facing your demons. Okay, it is about getting your life back on track. It is about taking that journey that rebalances out the scales. Okay, it's about, this is about justice. It's about doing the right thing. It's about giving. It's about giving and receiving. It's about equality. So it looks really, really good. I feel like somebody is going to be giving and they are going to be receiving. They're going to be receiving in return. So... It's beautiful. It really is. I think that uh, somebody has gone through some sort of spiritual awakening. They are ready to leave the demons behind. They're ready to leave the fighting behind. They're ready to uh, bring success and they're going to take action to do so. We have a very intelligent individual here that is about to do something. They're about to give. They're about to and it feels like there's, there's, there's some sort of reciprocation here. It's like they give and they receive. Okay? So, but they're going to have to have faith. Faith is here. Faith is the very first card. Believe. Listen to your gut. There's a higher power here that is guiding somebody down a new path. That is a journey. But there is a level of indecision here. There is with 666. You know, you can, you can choose to focus on the past and what happened in the past. Or you can leave it behind. This person wants to leave it behind. Wants to just leave the past behind. Right here. No more fighting. But 
But whoever they're dealing with is a very unsure. Okay, the person that they are dealing with may be very fearful, with very very fearful. Um, somebody we may try to make some excuses because a page of wands reversed is somebody is that makes excuses that procrastinates. But they are going to do something. They are going to go. They are going. They're fearful. Somebody is fearful. That's replacing fear with faith and traveling to that destination. Okay. Somebody is going to find their mental strength and they are going to move forward. And they are headed towards victory. They are headed towards success. And it's because they control their emotions and they, they find their ability to uh, move. It's like make a move. Somebody is making a move. Okay, it's a very strong individual, somebody that is uh, ready to take charge. Somebody is, is going to arrive and they are going to give and they are going to get. Okay, they're going to give and they're going to get in return. So there's going to be mutual uh, reciprocation, put it that way. Um, There is victory here, big victory. Somebody is, is going to do whatever they have to do to be victorious, to get to a better place. does involve travel. Somebody is traveling to a place. They're traveling to a place that brings harmony because sixes are about harmony. It brings peace and harmony to their life. There's moving here as well. Moving, moving. So somebody may be moving. These are both moving. Um, somebody may have made a decision to move. Wherever they're going, they're, they're going to a better place. Um... This is the end of something. It is the end of some sort of commitment. It is. But there's an opportunity for something more successful here. There is. I feel like there's been some sort of fighting. There's been sort of some sort of battle. But the battle is over. Now that, now that this moving happens, there's an opportunity for equal reciprocation. You know? However that resonates with you. Now, this is uh, getting in the driver's seat, getting behind the wheel, and taking, taking that road, going down that road to uh, balance, okay, to getting what you deserve. Somebody is going towards what they deserve. This is what they deserve, okay? This is justice. It really is. Somebody's going to be, somebody may be taking an offer, but they're giving an offer and they're taking an offer. There's both. It's like equal. Both. If there's, I feel like there is two people. And whoever this person is that's coming is ready to face opposition. Okay. It's like they have no fear. They're, and there was some fear, but I think they're replacing that fear with faith and they're going because they want harmony. They want to receive. They want to get what they deserve. So somebody is headed towards an offer. This is an offer. Whatever this offer is, it is uh, it's a win situation. It is. It's a, it's a it's definitely a win. Now the six of the six of wands there could be this is leadership. This is leadership as well. And so isn't the magician. Somebody is definitely taking the lead. They are this is a fighter, a warrior, you know, the six of wands is a, he's a hero. It's like, it's after the battle, this person comes in and, you know, has won. This is a winner right here. There's progress. There's, there's progress that is being made.
Mm. Sun card reverse. Now the sun card reverse is sadness. <laughs> it is. There's sadness. There's sadness that has has uh well there's false impressions with the sun reverse. We have somebody here that uh, may have been in some sort of suffocating relationship, but they're moving away from that. They're moving away from that suffocating relationship. It was dark. It was. They're moving out of that darkness. They are. They're moving out of the darkness. We also have somebody here that has been lacking clarity. And they have been unrealistic. But I feel like there's some sort of reevaluation with all these sixes. They're reevaluating themselves. And now it's like now they know they got to do something because a chariot is about mental strength. It's about, it is about courage too. We have somebody here that is determined to get what they deserve. They are determined to be successful. And they're willing to do whatever it takes, even if it means facing their fears. So I do believe that we have a very... strong individual here who has been fearful. This person has been fearful, but they're ready to face their fear, fears. And they're coming in. This is an this is like an arrival. This is forward movement. Somebody is moving towards balance. They're moving towards getting what they deserve and it's it's coming out of a dark place it really is somebody is going to be going somewhere they are they're going to be going somewhere this is taking a ride uh they're going to be going somewhere with somebody it feels like there's two people No more fighting. Five of Wands reverse. This is the end of the fight. There's no more fighting. This is a turning point. This is finding a solution. This is the end of a conflict. This is peace. Somebody is headed towards something equal you know this is equal reciprocation where you know both people can offer the same amount you know you know what I mean it's like you give this I give that you know it's the same it's the same amount it's like it's not one side it's like not where one person is doing all the work and you know what I mean this is an equal opportunity it's an equal partnership it's an equal union somebody's headed towards equality Okay, with somebody that can give them exactly what they give. I mean, there will be differences, you know, but it will it will comp they will complement each other very nicely, very very nicely. This is definitely the end of a battle. It's the end of the tug of war. It's the end of the fighting. There's an opportunity for happiness. There is, and this card wouldn't be here. But in order to get it, somebody is going to have to find their mental strength to go get it. You got to get in the driver's seat and you got to go by yourself. Somebody's going to be traveling. They're going to be traveling towards something very valuable. Nine of Pentacles reversed. Now the Nine of Pentacles reversed is a need for discipline. You must take action. Somebody needs to take action right now. This is about independence. It's about, I mean, we may have somebody here that is independent that is not going to be independent for much longer. You know, they may get swept off their feet. Somebody may be giving up their independence. That's scary. 
Um, somebody may be becoming independent. There's definitely some insecurity issues here. Somebody is insecure. They're insecure with their value. And there's a need to remember your value. Remember your worth. Remember your value. Make sure that you are listening. Listen to your gut during this time. Do you know your value? Do you know what you're worth? Because there is an opportunity here. There definitely is an opportunity. Somebody is coming in. Somebody is coming in. Um, may shake up somebody's independence. You may not be prepared for it. This is like unprepared. You may not. It, it probably is a shock. Okay. It's, it's probably definitely not prepared for it. There's, this is lack of foresight, wasted time. Somebody had been wasting time. And, there, and time is of the essence, I believe, because it looks as though this person right here, uh, I don't think there's, 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 there may be a lot of competition. Ooh, the, ah, the five of wands is competition. Oh, boy. And moving is here. Moving is here a couple of times. So I feel like somebody needs to, and the magician and the chariot is, needs to take action right now. Somebody needs to take action right now. But the magician is right now and so isn't the chariot. Find that strength and that courage to face your fears and go after what you deserve. Whether it is Leaving behind somebody that is uh, not giving you what you deserve and becoming independent. Or if you're afraid of giving up your independence because of trauma, you know, there's definitely a change here. There is somebody that is, is coming in. There is going to be an arrival. I think you are not prepared. You are, well, you know, whatever. It's probably scary. I do think it is scary. Um, but there's an opportunity for commitment and there is an opportunity for happiness, but this is a, it's, it's probably going to leave you dumbfounded because of these pages reversed. You may, you may be feeling pessimistic. You may not believe it. You need to believe. Okay. Have faith and trust that everything happens for a reason. That four of swords is the end of a situation. It really is. It could be the end of taking a break. I don't know if somebody has taken a break because this is like break time taking a rest the battle is over there is an opportunity for success here there's it's time to get your life back on track 666 that's the meaning of 666 is taking that journey to balance and harmony somebody is going to be taking that journey to balance and harmony but i think there's a lot of fear here if you can overcome your fear it will be successful good luck